Pretend for a moment you are a criminal, carrying around a really big bag of money you've made from all your nefarious deeds. So big that simply depositing the cash in your bank will get you a visit from shadowy men in dark sunglasses. You need a plan, a way to keep the cash, but get rid of all those traceable bills. You need to launder the money. Here are the two most common routes criminals use. The first, digital. People needing to hide large amounts of money often start by setting up an offshore company in which to park their cash. There are companies online that can start one up in minutes. All that's needed is a passport number and a credit card. A few clicks of the mouse and $1,500 later, Jim's Caribbean Imports is broke. That's it. It may be hard to believe, but this is totally legal. And so is the foreign bank account you can create online to take its deposits. From here, money can be wired to the new company's bank account in small amounts. Keep in mind that the feds flag any wire transfer over $10,000. Small deposits can fly under the radar, looking like legitimate income. The fake company can even pay tax on it, and its owner can draw clean funds from it. Of course, criminals can also go analog. To them, it's as simple as gathering a bunch of no-good friends in Las Vegas, handing them stacks of cash, and directing them to the tables. That's because unlike betting on horse races or playing the slot machines, casinos are not required to issue tax forms for winnings at table games, regardless of the amount. A few small bets later, and the chips are cashed back in, and voila, new clean bills appear. Just be aware that, like Uncle Sam, anything over $10,000 is likely to catch someone's attention. The only surefire way to avoid the tax man? The cash never sees the inside of a bank account. It goes in a mattress, which, let's face it, is a lot more inconspicuous than a really big bag.